Good morning, and please stop for some holiday cheer here today. This is Cat with Cat's Home Chat, along with Jeff Spike Wong, and <laughs> <laughs> we just got a short few minutes greeting for you today. We haven't been live in months. I hope you've enjoyed our replays. I want you to answer two questions for me today. Number one, what is your family tradition, your most favorite family holiday tradition? Please answer below. Hopefully one of us will see it. If not, we'll go back and answer it uh, and reply and comment later. Your most famous, wonderful, favorite family tradition, and maybe even most bizarre. Number two, what is your favorite dish, favorite food for the holidays? Oh. So I'm going to start with you, Jeff. Um, answer question number one, please. My, my favorite food during the holidays. Hmm. That's question number two, but that's okay. Oh, what was the first one? Your most favorite, awesome, or unusual tradition. Oh, I don't think I have any kind of... Uh, favorite tradition huh i mean holidays is it's just um uh you know with going into christmas we get our stuff done outside and inside and putting up the festivity and so forth but you know we live our every day with christmas in heart oh i love that message so you know it's it's not like this is a special week or special month or special day. Okay, hold, hold up. That deserves a jingle and a thumbs up. <laughs> and and that, that really is the message, isn't it? And that is to have Christmas in your heart every day. And we can choose that with the most important conversation we will ever have in our life, and that's the conversation in our head to go forth with love and kindness and, and forgiveness and um, generosity. Um, I love that. So let's go back to the just traditional stuff. Is there any tradition? Well, one of the traditions that I do with uh, our grandkid, uh, Elizabeth, is that um, for years and years ago, I told her that instead of grabbing a bunch of stuff under the tree, what we do is we get a nice little present under the tree. And then after Christmas, I take her to a store and we go hog wild with a boatload of money because everything's half off oh. or everything's discounted. And I told her, I go see the value. And I taught her this probably around four years old, starting that, showing her a doll that was $20. And now it's nine, you know, or it's seven. So yeah, that's a great also, that's a great hack uh, to, to to show um, uh, fr uh, frugalness. Although Glamma ends up with a boatload of stuff in her room to have to donate later. But anyway, well, that's okay. But right because she gets to, she gets to play with you know the fun factor. Two is she gets to shop. She gets to have some good family time, and she also got to recognize that you know the expectation. I think. A lot of families and traditions that grew up with the Santa coming down the chimney and I got to have a bunch of presents. Uh, all of a sudden it became uh, too focused just about the gifts, about what I'm getting, what I'm asking, opposed to the spirit of Christmas, the birth of Christ, the love, and also just the overall, the, the positive message that we receive as humanity. You know, this is why every year we watch the same Christmas movies and so forth. And my favorite, of course, is Bill Murray Scrooge. I watch that movie so many times I can't even begin to tell you, especially, you know, my story of back in the day when I was single, I would work a triple shift 24 hours straight and I would put that movie on a loop on a VCR and I would just listen as I worked of Bill Murray saying, I get it now. I get it. It's every day. And, and that changed me. That every, really did. No, it's every day. I'm going to see. I don't know if anybody's getting this. Uh, I can't really see. Well, it's live. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. so, okay. So thank you for sharing that. Um, was there a dish? There's a what? A, a dish, dish of food? 
a, a favorite meal or, or dish mm -hmm. of food? You know, because we're such a food aficionados and connoisseurs, it, it's hard to say, oh, you know, every Christmas I look forward to this. Every Christmas we make sure it's an extravaganza of some kind of food uh, spread. And it's mm -hmm. always been great because it's made with love. It's made with, you know, organic ingredients, fresh ingredients. We don't do processed box or any kind of stuff that's, you know, that is being pushed upon us by the big food pharma. You know, or the, the, the hey, industrial Melody. food complex, right? Sorry. Yes, not food pharma. So I'm going to chime in here. Of course, mine and my family seems to be uh, my homemade chunky applesauce. I lovingly pair, you know, dozens of apples, either cook them in the uh, crock pot. I prefer to cook it on the stove with lots of cinnamon, a couple of cloves, and you just smell that all throughout. In fact, I think we're going to have it this year, Christmas Day, with our roast pork. That Tanya has, hey, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas, uh, with our roast pork. So yeah, I think the applesauce is one of our stay, uh, and we and we like new dishes. So my daughter Tanya, hey Tanya, is going to be making some <clears throat> some amazing crock pot potatoes for Christmas Eve, um, along with um, some I forget what they call it, street corn or something that her staff just went gaga over. Mm. Um, so I'm anxious to have that. Um, one message I would like to say is, you see, I've got my sparkle on, Melody, if you're still there. Um, you know, wearing sparkle, <laughs> I've got a lot of sparkle on today. It just, I, I learned from Trini Woodell, one of my uh, just most favorite uh, icons about fashion, that wearing sparkle can just, cheer you up when you and you don't have to reserve it really for the holidays and for daytime you can throw on a sparkle jacket with some jeans and some trainers and just it just um livens you up you know Absolutely. and livens it's up like those, snow. yeah it's like snow and livens those up around you and i think that deserves a this is, yes. for you. this is for you, Elizabeth. Bonham made this bell for you. That also deserves some country picking. <laughs> Merry Christmas from the Skokie Mountains of the backyard of the Woodlands. Ah, I like it. So we are bundled up because it is 17, the last I looked, 17 degree Leo's here in Houston, in hot heat Houston, Texas. I am loving it. Our fountain froze up and has frozen solids all down it. I think that's only happened, what, two or three times in the 20 years that we've been here. Um, but it's chilly and I'm loving it. So I'm going to share one of my traditions. If you're on Melody, you're going to get a hoot over this. So I'm from Southern California, for those who don't know, and it's even gotten hotter since we've left. But, you know, it was typical. It could be 75 or 80 degrees on Christmas Day. So my kids know we had a tradition. If it was not cold, we would turn down the AC, low, low, low. And we are going to have a fire. Now, it might be a Duraflame, so it doesn't give off a lot of heat. But we are going to have Christmas morning and open Christmas gifts with it being chilly and with the fire on. So that's my weird uh, tradition that I wanted to share. Um, how about you, Melody? Share a weird... I know, girl, you've got a lot of weirdness in you, like I do. What, what weird tradition um, can you remember? Share, share it with us. And wow, that beef Wellington sounds yummy. Oh. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Sure does. <laughs> Melody says, Kat, you're the dish. Ah, she's so sweet. <laughs> That's a thumbs up, Melody. Yep. <laughs> My husband thinks I'm the dish. <laughs> right, babe? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of the favorite things that I think we've been doing the last few years is uh, we go get uh, grass-fed prime rib roast and do do the nice prime rib with a rub and you know eat a big chunk of you know bovine we we give thanks to the of course the life that they gave us our our wonderful prime rib and we're, we're very gracious to have the kind of family meals that we've had 
Um, yes. You have, of course, as the years goes on, several family members left us on the planet, but that's okay. They're still with us. We love them yeah. dearly. We still celebrate Christmas with them in spirit with us. And then we know they're still with us. And again, it's just, uh, it's, it's the time of the year where everybody needs to be a little bit relaxed, a little bit, um, I would say, tolerant of the frustrations, the angst. Let that go. And just remember, oh, 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 oh. enjoy. Oh, my God. Melody Indian. says she's having 32 people at 4 p.m. Oh, gee. Okay. Well, I'm all 33. I to, all I have to say, Melody, is just breathe. Just um, breathe. I, I wish I was coming. Um, you didn't invite me, but <laughs> well, I probably couldn't drive to Austin, but we do have to get together soon. Um, oh, and Dripping Springs, where is that? I don't know where that is. It's is somewhere that? out there. Oh, it's, it's, at her, freezing. it's at her sister's. It's at her sister's. I guess it's in Texas, probably in Texas, yeah. right? Well, it's um, not dripping today. It's freezing. So it's freezing. you and your need to get out to Houston, girlfriend. We keep talking about that. Oh, Wimberley. Oh, okay. Where's Wimberley? That's not too far from us, right? I have no idea. Somewhere no idea. cold. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh. I, I know this is not as, as jovial, but you know, I just want you to sh uh, let's share a little bit because I know Jeff pre us together, which is going on 25 years this coming year. Greece, I hope, coming soon. Uh, you know, not everybody, you know, has somebody. And I have seen, I've recently been on TikTok. In fact, I'm going to do a plug at the at the end so you guys can see where where we're going for the 2023 which is a little bit different than what we're doing or have been doing every week here but my son who is very successful uh made president in a very short time of his company has me doing a tiktok channel so i'm on tiktok tada by cat please check me out there because i am forced <laughs> through accountability of my son to post almost every day i did every day for 30 days now i'm probably doing every other day but content great tips great stuff you know that in less than 10 seconds 15 seconds you know 30 seconds at max you can really gain a lot of information and i'm kind of really enamored with TikTok right now because i'm learning so 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 very much um but one of the things that really tugged on my heart was people posting that they were alone and how alone they were yes. um, on Christmas. And for folks who have family and are not alone and don't experience that, you know, it's it's probably hard for us to fathom. But my heart goes out and, and I and I want us to share a message for folks who maybe are alone <clears throat> to help them through the, the holidays, you know, and, and that coupled with the expectations, the commercialism, the gotta buy, gotta do, gotta have, you know, because that's not what it's about. Like we talked about, you know, in Scrooge, that's not what it's all about. It's just everyday connectedness, everyday having that spirit. But what would you have as a message, Jeff, for folks who are alone? What's what's a couple of tips that you might want to share with them to, to help them feel full and connected, even though they maybe don't have someone physically around with them. Sure. Every, you know, everybody's situation is different, I'm sure. And everybody's mindset, psyche to her holiday season may be different. And the reason why they're alone in the first place. For me, when I used to do these triple shifts and I was single and so forth, is because I had an agenda for my career and whatnots. And I put myself in that position and I wasn't around family. So there wasn't any sadness by any stretch of means. It was part of the I would call the, the experience, you know, and ultimately we have to really look at this. Christmas is in our heart. Christmas is about this great feeling, this great synergy of humanity that shares this great positive opportunity together to look at each other and talk to strangers and say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and not you know, think that's strange where if you walk around in May and just went, how are you doing to somebody in a store? They, they look at you sometimes really weird, like, why are you saying hi to me? So one of the things that I would definitely say is break 
the chain, meaning that if you're by yourself and you're not feeling, you know, really positive or happy, you know, you got the holiday blues, that's your choice. Change it immediately. Yep. Tony Robbins, you know, personal power. That's the first time about 30 years ago I learned that. You make that decision instantaneously. Yes. And you can change your environment and your world immediately. With a smile, with a heart. Oh, absolutely. You know, I think it comes back to that, you know, if we're feeling this, get outside ourselves and 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 give. You know, and, and some people on TikTok talked about, you know, donate your time. Of course, you know, if you have time, go to a senior center, go to a children's hospital. You know, it's so rewarding and and it's something that, you know, sometimes we don't take time to. I'm involved with Yes to Youth, and I've been remiss this last summer because we were so busy. But next week, I'm going out there. I'm going out there with nut breads because the kids will still be on vacation, and I'm bringing nut breads. You know, no, it's not a full class that I had done before. But, you know, I'll lead a prayer with them. I'll lead uh, something positive for them and something to eat as well. But, you know, we get caught up sometimes, and it goes to the back burner. But what a perfect way, and I love that, Melody, write. So do you journal, Melody? And Melody, what's your husband's name? He said he's on, on here with us. Say hi to him, because we're going to meet him soon. Yeah. And I hope you're both going to conference in February, because we're going to be there. <laughs> oh, she says, tell us about your wings. I would love to tell you about my ring, wings. So, so. Two years ago, conference, where, where was that, honey? Nashville. Nashville. Um, the theme, and if you're watching, Soar. Jenny, hope you are, was yeah. soaring, you know, soaring in your life and your business, et cetera, soaring. And um, she had made, had these wings made everywhere that was great for photo ops, et cetera. And she, she knew I loved them. Jenny knew I loved them. And she, sent these to me on my birthday the following february mailed them mailed it to me i i used to have different art i kept a whole garage full of art and changed out my art if you look at the past 80 episodes i had different art but as soon as i got this it's like game over <laughs> these are my angel wings and, um, yeah, and, and i try to earn them every day <laughs> sometimes yeah they get broken <laughs> My teacher says. Oh, that's right, Melody. You were there, Mikey Green. Hi, Mikey. Hey. I love that, Mikey. Oh, 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 my Can God. Mikey come out and play? Do you remember that commercial? I think no. you guys probably do. <laughs> Mikey likes it. It was life commercial, life cereal. So Melody asked, "What are they made of?" Well, they're they're not made of something um, sustainable, probably, because I think it's that that foam, that poly foam. Uh, that, that they actually we have them in our warehouse to protect glasses and things like that. Um, so, um, but they're absolutely gorgeous and they're so uh, durable um, as well. One day I'm going to be wearing them. Why? Yep. <laughs> Mikey likes Melody. Oh, that's too cute. Mikey likes Melody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's cute. Um, so we wanted to keep this short and thank you all uh, for participating and who are here and who see it later or maybe you'll see it on youtube or you'll see it where will they also see it Jeff? yeah we're going to put it on youtube right now it's streaming in uh two facebook channels along with linkedin i'm sorry i wasn't able to interact my internet in my office is not working for uh, this wonderful freeze for the, probably that reason but, yes, but tell them where else it's going where we're uploading them well, uh, after we do this, we're, we're converting these into audios as well for, you know, all our shows to the Tata by Cat, uh, the Cat's Home Chat podcast. And this is definitely uh, multiple channels. You can get it from Apple. You can get it from, you know, Spotify, all different channels. So we'll post so all of those. So, th yeah. so those who are not versed in, in podcast, which I was not. It's going, we subscribe to a service that will put them on all. So whoever you're with, whether it's Apple, Spotify, whatever the others are, uh, just do Tada by Cat and you'll be able to, to audio the past 79 episodes. You know, just pick the ones you want. And then, um, so it, it, that's, that's that on that announcement, right? 
Anything yeah, else we're add? still we're, we're we're converting and uploading slowly but surely. We're trying not to overwhelm the system, or, or even just overwhelm me to convert it. You know, but yeah, it's it's exciting to do the podcast because you know podcast is a, a, a definitely a new thing for a lot of people. Because, you know, to get our information nowadays, we can't just look at TV anymore. So podcasts became really popular since 2022. Yeah. Uh, started this so year. So have with, a subscribe do, because it's a yeah. way that I know, because half the time he's connected in the house on, on headphones or yeah. whatever. But it's a way that you can do something maybe that's um, monotonous, hmm, maybe like organizing the warehouse. But I've got uh, dear sure. Adriana to do that uh, or, or whatever, just something uh, monotonous you can... Uh, listen to something that will feed your heart, your soul, your mind, um, you know, and really that's what it's all about. We have to take care of and nurture ourselves and, and just a piggyback on that. Make sure you take care of yourself this holiday season. Self-care is so important. You know, don't worry about that everything has to be perfect and you have to do everything and um, be everything and have everything. You know, take a deep breath and do something for yourself because when we nurture ourselves, we're nurturing the world because we're all connected and you're nurturing your, your relationships, your spouse, your kids, your, your aunts, your uncles, everyone. You're nurturing everyone when you take care of yourself. Yeah, she says, hey, that's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, she's going to High Point in April. Lucky you. What? I wish I could go with you. Let's chat. Um, so, um, last announcement is... Going forward for 2023, we are going to, instead of trying to do it every week, because it's difficult running a business, staging and design, um, color, cat's eye and decor, yada, 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 and trying to vet and get guests on every week. So um, I've decided to do it. We'll have the exact um, time, but I think we're going to do the second and fourth week is what we decided. Uh, the second, yes, the second and fourth Friday, so two times a month. So this way, you know, there will be less. You'll really want to tune in. Again, you can see it after the fact if schedule doesn't permit on YouTube and listen to it on Spotify, etc. And I will end this with saying we are looking. I would like to get the guest schedule set up for the, at least six months. Um, I've got... I think one or two folks I'm talking to right now, but we haven't solidified. Um, and do know that if it's Friday and that never works for you, we can pre-record this through our streaming device and then hit it live on the date on Friday. So whatever day, night, whatever works for you, if you've got a message out there, Cat's Home Chat is all about anything to do with the home. And I love nurturing home businesses, startups, solopreneurs, small businesses, um, professionals, maybe, you know, with the pandemic, as I call it, it, it's really spawned more than ever entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, um, you know, professionals uh, that work out of their home. Um, so, um, Think about that. If you know someone, share this uh, episode with them and have them contact me. I am Kat with Cat's Home Chat, a business owner um, of Tada by Cat, and that's where you can find me everywhere. Tada, T A D A B Y K A T, on all of those platforms. But reach out to me, uh, call me if you like, old fashioned way. I love it. 281 798 three seven five zero give me a buzzaroo i always answer my phone unless it says spam um and before i do our signature sign off jeffrey my love is there anything else you want to share with our audience going, wish into everybody, the, going into the new year yeah wish everybody a happy new year 2023 have merry christmas and happy holidays kwanzaa happy hanukkah all that great stuff. You know what? It all comes down to this. As humanity, be caring. We want to thrive, love, and share. These are our goals as humanity. Mm -hmm. Keep that in your heart. Keep that in your brain. And also, my last thing is I'm going to put a link on the film that Kat and I were executive producer on this past year. We won 
nine film festival with this film Whoa. called the Thirteenth Note. So this wow. is your special Christmas preview that is going to public for the first time that is outside the film fest. So I'll put that in the link later. Check it out. Next year, we're going to do some great stuff with this film. With that being said, of course, Cat's Home Chat's got a new plateau coming out. We got uh, a lot of great things coming from the education aspect of it. We got a lot of great things coming from a lot of uh, DIY, DIYs. And just stay tuned, subscribe, smash the bell, all that stuff. And ultimately, you know, you can always look at Cat's phone number and text and call her and say, hey, what's the latest? What's the news? I want to be on the show and do all that. And with that being said, I'm going to play you a piece of music, if I can find it now. This is Kat wishing everybody Merry Christmas, right? Oh, my gosh. Blast from the past. My husband and I sing it to it. Bring it out here. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas. Oh, oh, that was so sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, I just wanted to piggyback on that, the 13th note. If you love music or you know someone who does or you know some budding artist children, this is a short. It's only a 20-minute long movie, but it is, I mean, it gives me chills. Um, if you want to see parts of inside of my house and yard, we were on location for some of the filming. But the most important thing is, it takes classical piano, uh, Jen Shen, along with Rusty. No? Yen. Yen Shen. I can never say her name, but sorry, Yen. Yen Shen. And Rusty Cooley, who's a shredder extraordinaire, and juxtapositions them into this most beautiful, poetical, beautiful illustration of how it comes together and how it's manifested and the history behind it. It's just beautiful and well-deserved that it has won so many awards. And Jeff, kudos to you and the production team. Uh, but for you, having the, the, the uh, being the brain behind it, the inspiration behind it, and the driving engine behind it to submit to all of these countries. Because you know what? Nothing happens unless you do something. And, and you did something, and it happened, and, and it got all this recognition. So great things to come in 2023. And as usual, stay positive, stay hopeful, and stay connected. And thank you for connecting with us today. And uh, go make it a beautiful holiday season and a wonderful new year. And please uh, connect with me um, any way that you see fit. Love y'all. Play it out. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna hit end broadcast. It's cold outside. It's cold outside. I'm lucky. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Love you.